Hello! Today I'll be making a tutorial on how to make thumbnails. I'll be making a thumbnail on my edit. Let me show you the edit I have made. It will also be out on my channel. Fifty likes and I will tell you how I make these edits. Now I'll be opening up Pinterest. I'm using Pinterest because it's more easier. It depends on you which site to use for. 4000 quality images. Now search the image you want and desktop 4000 wallpaper after. Now you have many options. Choose which one you want. I have chosen this for my thumbnail. Now I'll download it by clicking on the three dots, and then clicking download. Now I will search Photopia, it's basically Photoshop but free. Make sure you have the same resolutions as me. Now import your image by clicking on File, then Open and Place, then select the image. Fit your image to the canvas. Now take the text tool which looks like T, and then type the music you're using in your edit. Then select your text and make it larger. It depends on you how large. Then place the text wherever you want. Select the text again and choose which font you like. I am using the Passion 1 font. I prefer using bold fonts. Select the text again and click on Warp. If you don't like Warp, you cannot use it. It's not needed, but I'll be using it. I prefer not using too much of a bend. Now double click on the text and click Drop Shadow. You can make the drop shadow on any angle, and lower or increase the opacity. I'll be lowering the opacity. Now click on outer glow, and increase or decrease the glow, depending on how you like it. I'll be increasing it just a little bit, and decreasing the opacity. Now click on stroke and keep the thickenses around 1 to 3, at least that's what I do. I am just adding warp here. Now add a layer by going to the bottom right. Select the brush tool. Choose which color you want to add for blur. I choose black for this layer. Scribble in the parts you want black blur. Then click on Filter then Blur then Gaussian Blur. And chose how much of a blur you want. Now I am adding another layer. And using the brush tool I take white color for blur. Repeat the same thing from the black blur layer. Now I added some little improvements, and there we are done. To download it, click on File and then Export as. Click on N. and give any name and export it. There we are done with making a thumbnail. Let me show you how I get my clips and audio now. Type in Heat Twixter and search which anime clip you want and add raw after. This means the clip will be raw and be with its original audio. Select one and scroll down to download. Click on download and there 4000 quality clip with original audio. 
or you can also go on YouTube and see which anime clip you want. Copy the link and paste in a website. This is the website, it will be in the description of this video. There you go, that's how I find my clips. Let me show you how I get my audio now. Go to YouTube and search Quetizy. He is the person I mostly get my audio from. He has many amazing audio edits. Now let me show you how I get my audio. Now I will open up Audacity, all the links will be in the description. Make sure you have the same settings as me. Now play your audio and record it from Audacity. Now click on File and Export, and save it. There you go, now you can use the audio. That's it, now you know how I get my clips, audio, and how I make thumbnails for edits on CapCut. Comment down below which tutorial you want. Next, 